Hey guys, welcome to my Natural Academia. In today's video, I'm gonna be moisturizing my hair. All right, so I moisturized my hair about three weeks ago and it still feels pretty moisturized. It looks a lot more moisturized than I thought it was gonna look because my edges were starting to look a little bit crazy. So I just assumed my entire head was gonna look crazy. But after unbraiding the braids, the insides of them were very, very moisturized. It's just the outsides that were a little bit dry and crusty feeling, but the insides of the braids were pretty moisturized. And usually I keep my hair in a ponytail, so that's probably why I was able to retain a lot of my moisture. So for that reason, I'm not gonna be using both the Palmer's Olive Oil and the TGIN today. I'm only gonna be using the TGIN on my hair today because my hair just, it just feels extremely greasy and I don't want, I don't know if you guys can see the grease, but I don't wanna add any more grease to my hair when it feels so greasy. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using this today. I'm just gonna start off by parting my hair into little bantu knots like I usually do. And I have a lot to talk about today. Um, I don't know where to start. A lot has been happening recently. A lot of changes have happened as of recently and a lot of good things and bad things. I know I have a little bit of explaining to do. Well, hold on. Let me just part my hair really quickly because I, I realized a while ago that I can't talk and do my hair at the same time. As I mentioned before, I moisturized my hair about like two weeks ago or two and a half weeks ago, th almost three weeks. I don't remember, honestly. I think it was like three weeks ago, honestly, because my hair was feeling really, really dry. And what I'm doing right now is just finger detangling my hair very lightly, if you're if you're wondering what I'm doing with my fingers. But anyways, what was I saying? Something about my hair. But, oh yeah. Last time I moisturized my hair was about three weeks ago. And I thought it was really dry, but it's really not that dry. And it looks pretty darn good for not having moisturized it for that long. And I really need to stop doing that. But some like it's it's one of those things like procrastination where you get away with it the first few times and then you, you just start living like that. Where like you get away with it the first few times and then you just start thinking that you can get away with it a lot more times. Like you submit a paper bef like right before it's due and then you convince yourself that you can do it again with another assignment. So it's, it's like one of those things. I moisturize my hair once a month for the longest. Now when I try to moisturize my hair on a consistent basis, it just, it doesn't really happen as well as I'd like to. But I don't think my hair has uh, been neg negatively impacted by it. I really don't. I think my hair is very resilient and it doesn't, um, it takes a lot for it to react badly. Last terrible thing that happened to my hair was when I got moisture overload from using that Camille Rose product. And all I had to do to fix that situation was just do a clay mask treatment, if I remember correctly. I haven't really been recording as much, and I'll explain later as to, you know, why, why, why that has been happening. But in the midst of me not recording and not uploading as much, I have been taking care of my hair behind the scenes. I haven't recorded a video of me touching my hair in a really long time or doing anything special to it, but I did. I did do some spring twists not too long ago. I washed my hair about two months ago, and then I wore spring twists for like three weeks. And then I moisturized my hair and then this is the condition that it's at right now. So after I took the spring twist out, I didn't wash it. I just um, moisturized it and then braided it up. I don't know why, but my hair is shrinking up really, really bad. Well, not bad, but like it's shrinking up a lot and it's kind of hot in this apartment. So maybe it has something to do with the humidity. Probably, probably the humidity. Cause I literally just took my hair out not too long ago and it's already, it's already shrinking up. But anyways, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I've been looking around everywhere for Palmer's olive oil because, well, the bigger bottle at least. I haven't been able to buy or find the big bottle of Palmer's olive oil in like five months since the summer started. Like every time I would go to the store, I would see less and less of the Palmer's olive oil. They used to be fully stocked all the time. And then one day it was just like one or two bottles. So, you know, me being me, I got the two bottles and then Ever since then, it was just like, every time I went there, there was only one left. So I don't know who's out there taking all the Palmer's olive oil, but you need to stop because girl, other people want to use it too, okay? Anyways, so after using up the 8.8 .8 ounce bottles that I had, I went to Walmart, which is where I usually get it from, to go buy some more of them. And they were nowhere to be found. I literally went on a goose chase for a month trying to find some Palmer's olive oil, these little guys, but I was trying to get the bigger bottle of these ones. I just couldn't find them anywhere. So I searched up on the Palmer's Olive Oil website. Wait, okay, hold on. Cause I cannot talk and do my hair at the same time. All right, so I'm finished with the Bantu knots. Um, I don't really remember what I was talking about. 
think it was something along the lines of me trying to buy the Palmer's olive oil online. But girl, let me tell you how I bought 10 Palmer's olive oil, the 8.8 .8 ounce, so the bigger bottle. It's not this bottle, it's like the larger one. I don't have it because I ran out. But let me tell you how I went on this website and I bought 10 of the bigger bottles and it was like, it totaled to be about, about $69.99. So like practically $70. And I went on the internet and I searched for a coupon code and I found one and that brought down the total to $52. So I was like, you know, me being me, I was so excited. I was like, I'm gonna get me some Palmer's olive oil and I'm gonna have 10 of them and I'm never gonna run out. This is that and the third. I was so excited. Anyways, come a few days later, I get an email talking about some, your order was canceled. And I should have known it was too good to be true. I was so upset. I was so sad. I was so devastated. So I wasn't able to get the 10 bottles of Palmer's olive oil. But on the bright side, I went on a little hunt, a little search throughout the Walmarts in my city to see if I could find some. I went to three Walmarts one time and I couldn't find the Palmer's olive oil anywhere. Then I went today to two Walmarts and at the first one I didn't find it, but at the second one I did find it. And it was like fully in stock. It was like 12 on the shelf and guess how many I bought? I bought a little crate of eight Palmer's olive oil because y'all not about to go out of stock on me again. But the thing is, it didn't have the big ones, so I had to get all like of the tiny ones. So I have eight of them. Um, there's still some more on the shelf. I was just like, just in case somebody else wants some, let me just leave a few. I was gonna get all of them, but I didn't. But anyways, so yeah. I don't know who it is out there taking all the Palmer's oil off the shelf, but you need to stop, okay? Cause I, I can't keep living like this. I cannot keep walking around with crusty hair because you do not want to leave any for the rest of us. So yeah. It seems a little bit hypocritical because I'm sitting here holding eight, but at least I left four. And I'm sure, I, I hope they have some more in the back for the people that want some. That was a little mini rant. Let me get into the nitty gritty of why I decided to record myself moisturizing my hair. I have a lot to tell you guys. And you know, if you don't really care about me personally and the things that have been going on in my life, I don't know, I'm sorry. I really apologize about that because I'm gonna kind of go into a little bit of depth going, I don't know how to speak English, but I'm gonna kind of explain why I've been missing for so long. So, but before I do that, let me just give you guys a 360 of what my hair looks like. So this is how my hair is looking like. Please do not judge the crooked lines. There's only so much I can do with the eyes in the front of my head. Anyways, like I stated before, I will be using the TGIN Daily Moisturizer. And this is how it looks like. The consistency is pretty, it's pretty thick for moisturizer, but light at the same time. I wouldn't use too much if, if you don't like thick consistencies. I used to use it on my boyfriend's hair, but now I don't really, I don't use it on his hair anymore because he has low porosity hair and this, I find that is a little bit too heavy for his hair. So I just use a Camille Rose, um, what is it? Honey something, it's some, a Camille Rose honey something. I'll put a picture over here. That's an alternative if you're not, you know, interested in like thicker products. I would recommend that one. I really like it. If I might use it on my own hair, honestly, cause I really like the way that it makes his hair feel. But what was I saying, girl? I'm just like, I have so much energy. I wrote like a bunch of notes of what I wanted to talk about today. So for the past six months, guys, I've been kind of on, um, what would it be called a hiatus? I don't know if hiatus is the correct terminology for the sentence, but I've just been all over the place. Um, I haven't been posting on YouTube as much. I don't really be posting on Instagram. I haven't answered my emails. I haven't replied to my DMs as much or as fast as I'd like to. I still try to reply to like two or three people a day. I try, okay, no promises. But I don't know if you guys watch a live that I did um, over the summer of like, what was it? Life is hard, it was the name of the live that I, I created. It was just basically talking about how my life is hard and how I just, I, I, I be going through it behind the scenes. And in that video, I kind of explained how my job, I know my coworkers are probably, my ex coworkers are probably watching this video. And I'm at the point in my life where I can't keep living to please people anymore. I can't keep living to kind of make people out upset with me as, you know, you don't I don't want to burn bridges with people but at the same time like sometimes you just gotta expose toxic behavior you have to expose not so good behavior so if they want to talk about me then I, I really don't care because girl I don't work that anymore but what was I saying um 20 at the beginning of 2021 I was unemployed well not really unemployed but I wasn't working at an actual job 
I didn't, all I did was go to school, come home, study, and I was, I feel like I was pretty consistent, actually. Yeah, I feel like I was pretty consistent, even though I was like going to school and stuff like that. And now that I'm thinking back on like my mindset, and and to give you guys a little bit um, of an understanding of my mindset, I'm a, I'm a very fixated person. So if I'm doing something that requires my time and energy, I give my time and energy. I don't really do things half halfway. I always try to go 100% with whatever I'm doing. And I have this kind of, or I had, I don't think, I don't want to have it. And I've kind of been trying to not have it. But this mentality of wanting to please people, like being a people pleaser. And, you know, in a lot of cases, it might come from childhood trauma or whatever, which I'm not really going to get into because social media is not my therapist. So I just kind of want to um, just kind of tell my little story a little bit. But I have a fixated mindset. So if I'm doing something, I pretty much go all in and everything else in my life kind of dwindles in the background and suffers because I have my, my energy, all my energy and all my time fixated, fixated on one particular thing. So at the beginning of this year, it was school. So... When I have my mind set on school, my mind is set on school. When I have my mind set on work, my mind is set on work and everything else dwindles off to the side. When I have, like when I first started my YouTube channel, my mind was set on YouTube. I would rather record a video than do my own schoolwork. So I don't know how to balance that. Still, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with it. I feel like I got a little bit better, but to make a long story short, I started working around the summertime beginning of the summertime april may ish so i recently just quit my job and it took a lot of of um courage it took a lot of i don't know my boyfriend's help it took a lot for me to actually do that even though i knew that i was not really in a good place mentally and physically i still kept going because i felt i felt like i would be disappointing people if i if i um if i left and that mentality is not it's not a good mentality to have like you're sitting there suffering for somebody else's gain that's not good to do so i don't want to uh, i don't want to say too much if you guys are interested in like the entire story I, i'm probably i'm i'm planning on going live soon if you're watching this in the future i'm sorry you're probably gonna miss the live but i'll leave it on my story future me will come back and put it in the description box i'll just put a link there for all you future people who are watching this video because i know some people um i know not everybody watches my videos in a synchronous or chronological order and this is how my hair is looking like by the way you know now that i look at my hair i feel like i should put a little bit of the grease because it's getting girls very much ashy and i don't like that so i'm just gonna get like this much of the palmers kind of rub it on there a little bit just to give it a little bit of shine you know because it's not giving the girls what it's supposed to give so that looks a lot better or a little bit better i should say this is literally my combination and, I, and if you guys see anybody else doing it, know they got it for me. Okay, Palmer's Olive Oil and TGIM, that will always be my favorite combination in the world. It just feels so hydrating and so moisturizing, so, so yeah. Anyways, I recently quit my job. I realize now after quitting that my channel really took a hard hit with working. I honestly don't think I can manage working, a personal life, a relationship, a YouTube channel, working out, doing all this stuff. I really do not think I'm, I was created to handle all these things at once because once I start doing one thing, I neglect something else. And on top of that, like, I felt like I was dealing with all of these things on my own. I don't, you know, you, you don't want to complain too much, but like the only person that really knew how much I was struggling was really m my manses. And a lot of times I didn't even really want to complain to him too much because his solution to the problem was just like quit the job. And even after like a lot of the weird things that happened, you know, while I was working and I'll go ahead and explain, I'm not going to explain, but like, you know, I feel like there are, are weird people everywhere, but a lot of, a lot of weirdo situations happened at that job if you know what I mean if you can read between the lines if not then I'm sorry but there was a lot of weird and uncomfortable situations that I feel like I was I was put in and I was too nice to kind of say anything or I felt like I dug myself in a little hole overall I just feel like quitting that job was just really good for me and I feel like I was just much needed I'm not gonna say anything else about the situation I'll go live and kind of explain in depth if you guys care care to listen. But anyways, um, I'm not gonna dwell on that situation too much. This is the start of a new 
journey. I really do plan on uploading a lot more now that I have a little bit more free time. I mean, I still have other things to do. I still have like, a, you know, I'm still in school. I still have schoolwork and a personal life. I still have a relationship. I still have to work out. I still have to do all those things. Uh, the only thing that was like excluded from that equation was my old job that I no longer have. Uh, but I'm still doing like other things. But amongst those things, I'm still I'm gonna try my best to be as consistent as possible with everything that I do and not put too much energy into one thing. And hopefully that helps me to get out of the mind, like the fixated mindset that I feel like I've always had. But yeah, that's pretty much the surface level of where I've been and what I've been doing and why I haven't been posting that much because I feel like every video that I post is always somebody like, oh, you're back. And it's just like, girl, if only you knew, I'm not, it was just a struggle. But aside from that, I also wanted to, um, well, I've been getting a lot of com a lot of emails lately of people thanking me for uh like kind of helping their hair growth and I really never thought I'd be I don't know I've never thought that I was that inspirational to people but apparently I am well it's not a lot of people probably like probably like a good 10 people but 10 people is a lot of people I'm just showing you guys what my hair looks like unmoisturized by the way it looks it looks pretty good but anyways 10 people is a lot of people and it honestly it genuinely makes me feel good knowing that that I, I have some sort of impact on others it's a simple fact that when I take care of my hair, I really don't do much to my hair at all. And when I was first starting to take care of my hair, I used to watch so many YouTube videos. Like when you would go through my YouTube um, homepage, all you would see is hair, 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 hair. Like I used to watch all the natural hair girlies. I, I mean, no shade to natural hair girlies, but a lot of their contradictions are kind of why I wanted to start a channel because I, it just felt very superficial and like one day one thing like people would be advertising one thing and the next day they'd be advertising something else let me just separate this but for example i remember the whole wave of like rice water where everybody was raving over it and i've never tried it and i know it works on some people but i don't think my hair would have reacted to it that well um after watching a lot of the videos of people explaining how the, that process didn't work for them i remember so many people doing the rice water challenge and saying how much their hair grew the next day or a week after they slept for five hours and their hair grew 10 inches and i was like oh i want to try that that seems so interesting and then like two months later it's like oh I'm like, jeez, did you guys not do research on this before you started advertising it to people? Like, y you're an influencer for a reason. You're influencing people to do something and you don't even do research on what you're advertising. It just seemed a little bit off. I don't remember where I was going with this. Oh yeah, so to see people um, emailing me saying that the method that I kind of due to my hair works on their own hair I, it's very it makes me feel good inside because i honestly don't feel like I, I um advise you guys to do much with your hair like my biggest um i wish english was my first word because sometimes i'm trying to think of certain words to say and it just pops up in a whole different language well i only know two languages but it just pops up it doesn't pop up in english in my head and how do you how do you say that like like something that you encourage i'll just say it like that but anyways so the the biggest things that i encourage people to do is just leave their hair alone and to think that that simple advice would be able to help so many people is just very interesting to me because it's like so simple it doesn't it, it's free to leave your hair alone it doesn't cost money it doesn't require labor or anything like that i mean yeah you do have to still um moisturize and condition it but that's with everything in life you have to take care of something for it to to be better if that makes sense you have to nurture things but just don't over overdo it is is my advice to people i know there are a lot of people who watch me and don't you know comment or don't email and things like that but i see you because i'm out when i was watching people's videos i was one of those people i, let, I never interacted with the people that i watched but i did look up to them a lot and i know there are those few people who don't comment and who don't you know interact that much but i still know you guys are out there and it just means a lot to me because i never really thought that i'd be i, I don't know i never really thought I'd, i have some sort of impact on on people i didn't really i never really envisioned that for myself especially when it came to hair but anyways i see you i know you're there and i really appreciate you <laughs> that's all i wanted to say about that i wasn't planning on recording for too long but i just kind of wanted to come on here and explain to you guys why i've been missing for so long and i'm gonna do better i promise okay and also i wanted to come on here and, and kind of rant about me not being able to find palmer's olive oil if you guys use palmer's olive oil like 
please let me know. Like, have I inspired anyone to use Palmer's olive oil as of recently? Because a lot of people I know, they don't use grease on their hair. So to see that the only grease that I use on my hair is not in stock in stores kind of surprised me because I didn't think anybody actually used it. Unless they're going bankrupt, which I don't think they are. I hope not, I pray not. I don't know. I feel like my mind is always all over the place. I, my mind is always running and I always have something to say. But let me go hurry up and finish this braid really quickly. I don't want to talk your guys' ear off because I know people who don't really enjoy longer videos. And I try to, I used to make my videos like really, really long unintentionally. I just didn't really know how to edit that well. But as I've gotten better with, you know, recording and editing, I try to make my videos short because people have a very short attention span. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I love the way my hair feels after I finger detangle it. Like, ugh, I love it. I always get questions of people asking me if I use combs. I only use combs to part my hair. So I use a rat tail comb, the end, like the the pointy part. I don't know. The, I don't know the terminologies for two combs, okay? I don't use them. But I use this to part my hair. I never brush my hair. I don't use bristles or anything. I comb, I do everything or 97% of everything that I need to do with my fingers. The only time that I use a comb, which is very rarely, only when I'm like doing uh, cute hairstyles, which I don't really do. But if I wanted to make this part straighter, I would, I mean, even though it still looks crusty, I would use the end of a rat tail comb for all those that have questions about that. I get a lot of questions, emails, DMs, comments, like everybody. Somebody's always asking, hey, Natural Academia, do you use combs? No, girl, I don't use combs. <laughs> Let me go back to writing this hair. I just wanted to kind of make note of that. I always forget to mention it in the beginning of my videos. And then people like get confused as they're watching because they're like, where's the comb? And why is she just um, caressing her hair like that? I mean, I would too if somebody was sitting there caressing their hair on camera and not pulling out a comb if I used a comb. And uh, for all those who, who may ask, I've been finger detangling my hair. I'm now 20, so for about four years now. I started doing it when I was like 16. Yeah, I started finger detangling my hair when I was like 16 and I haven't gone back to the life of not finger detangling because we are not about that life. All right guys, so one more thing I forgot to mention throughout the video. Um, I know I've been talking for the past 20 minutes and I really apologize about that because I don't usually speak for that long in my moisturizing videos, but I just had a lot to say. Anyways, I did start using the Palmer's olive oil a little bit uh, over the top of the TGIN because my hair was starting to look a little bit matte and I don't really like when my hair looks matte. I usually go for like a shiny, greasy look. Um, so yeah, I started using it towards the middle of the video and I just forgot to mention that. So yeah, that's all I had to say. Okay, but can we talk about how nice these ends look? They look so good. There's still a little bit of product on them. So I cake my hair with product. I'm trying to stop putting so much product on my hair when I'm moisturizing because it takes so long to dry, but it's a work in progress. Anyways, I went off camera and did this side of my hair. So all three of these braids are done. I have a total of eight braids on my head. And depending on the length of your hair, you can do either more or less. But I like to do eight. The other day I did um, six braids on my head and I didn't really like the way it looked. It just wasn't giving what it's supposed to give. All right, so here's unmoisturized hair. 
It's giving poofy, it's giving partially blow dried, but not really. Then we're gonna go ahead and put some kitchen. Y'all look at my hair. And it's giving what it's supposed to give. I love it when my hair looks like that. It looks moisturized. It looks like I took my time, which I did, because it took about well 15 minutes to detangle, finger detangle, and like a couple minutes to moisturize. So not that long. Alright guys, so I'm all finished with my hair and every time I do my hair, I feel like I've done something so revolutionary to it. When I wear the same hairstyle every every day. It's a little bit sad, a little bit um, depressing, but it's okay. Let me just show you guys what the back looks like because I don't feel like I ever do that and I'm trying to start doing that more. Ah! Almost died. But, so this is what the back looks like. Excuse any crooked braids. And here's a side view. I know my edges look like really bad. And I don't know why. I keep putting like some cream on it. But it just keeps peasing back up. Well, it doesn't look bad. It's just kind of peasy. But it's fine. Well, here's a side view of the braids. I look kind of cute. But anyways. If you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you for watching. And if I was a little bit confusing or said something that you'd like a little bit more input throughout the video, definitely comment down below and I'll be happy to answer if you have any questions. Um, it's pretty much all I have to say. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a braid out in this video or just do it in another video. But if I end up doing it in this video, I'll, I'll add it. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. If I take my, if I actually do a braid out tomorrow for the event that I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and post it in the community tab and then leave the link down in the description box if you're interested. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys for watching once again. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, definitely let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.